This is a question about school age kids. What are word retrieval issues and how do they impact my child? It's a good question. Word retrieval issues relates to the ability to pull words out of a dictionary in your head. So if you think about it, uh, this is an idea adapted from Ed Contour, one of my mentors. You sort of have a couple stations in the brain if you want to conceptualize it. This is all theoretical. The brain is an amazing, intricate system far beyond my comprehension, uh, one that I try to learn more and more about every day, and I know that there's always more to learn. But I know this much. When I'm thinking of when I finish this webinar, I'd like to get an ice cream, that is not a word, that is not a sentence. It's just this very pleasant thought about something sweet and cold, and I associate it with a treat. And it's just this amorphous thing. So there's this ideation, there's an idea, okay? That gets sent over to the next station. And the next station is finding the keywords. So the keywords are not, hey dear, I'm gonna be stopping off for ice cream. Everything okay? Want me to pick up something? The only thing that I need to pull down is ice cream. <laughs> That's it, keyword. So from the idea, then I need the keyword. Pulling out that keyword is word retrieval. So that's the step of word retrieval. Moving along, the next step would be, now we've got the keyword, now let's put it into a sentence. The sentence is made up of keywords, transition words, prepositional words, all kinds of sentence grammar that has to do with language grammar, but also social grammar. Hey dear, I'm gonna be a few minutes late, would you like me to get you something? So being cognizant of that and putting all the grammar and structure and packaging that's the third station. The fourth station is putting it out to the world. So you've got an idea, you've got keywords, that's where word retrieval is important. Then you've got the grammar, the structure of the sentence, and then you've got getting it out. For kids who stutter, where do you think the problem is? Put up your hands, what do you think? Is it at the first station? Is it at the second? Is it at the third? Or is it at the fourth? You got it, it's at the fourth. So if a child has no other issues, no other problems, stuttering is an issue that comes up at that fourth station. They know what they want. They have the words. They didn't forget their words. They know their name. They know it's a banana. They know they want ice cream. They have good grammar. They are socially connected. They are grammatically intact. They have good language skills. There's a speech motor problem a physical problem that when they send it to the printer, when they send it to the loudspeaker, it doesn't go. It would be like if I was speaking now and this microphone when it's unplugged, I have good ideas, I have good words, I'm speaking well, but somehow it's not coming out. Stuttering is at that last station. What's amazing is that as I'm talking to you right now, multiple thoughts are at different stages in that factory, in that process. And all of that is happening simultaneously in a fluid fashion and I would suggest it's more miraculous that any of us can put a sentence together fluently than it is surprising that some children have hiccups in their fluency. So some children have language problems. That would be word retrieval. That could also be a grammatical problem. They have good word retrieval, but they have trouble putting things into a sentence, into a story that people understand, giving enough context, but not too much context. And some of them also stutter. So you may have a couple things going on. With ideas, you may have a child who doesn't have great cognitive abilities. They may be more limited. A child perhaps with Down syndrome may not have a lot of ideas. They may also stutter. So whoever the therapist is and whoever the parent is and the teacher is, it's important to consider what are this child's strengths and what are his challenges. And in understanding the scope and maybe using this model of these four stations, we can interact with the child in a most appropriate way and not treat one or the other, but really look at the whole package.